Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome to Tact OP Symphony. So this is going to be a gacha game that's yet to be released as of me recording this video. This game is only available via CBT on C server. So I figure I'm show you guys as much things as I can right now since I was able to get into the CBT or participate in the closed beta test. Now apparently this is a turn-based game based upon the Tact OP anime. I am not really familiar with the anime whatsoever. So I've been told that it's highly recommended to watch the anime first before playing the game if you guys want to understand the story more thoroughly. But with that being said, let's jump into it. Okay, so first things first, I am running this on an emulator, so you can see it's a little bit buggy. So there's this uh, big square box surrounding your character. So this did not happen on the first day of me playing, but on the second day, uh, after the latest patch, it started happening. Keep in mind that this is not the final version, it's closed beta test, hopefully. You know, more than likely, they're gonna fix that eventually. So let's jump in straight into the characters. Gonna show you guys all the characters they have obtained. So the characters are called music arts in this game. So this is Destiny, uh, as you guys can see. So all of them have the uh, classical music theme surrounding them. This is Canon, uh, and then we have Carmen, which is my personal favorite, and I think a lot of most players' personal favorite based on what I've seen. And then Daphne's and Chloe. Uh, right here you can see so as you guys can see the game definitely has very high uh, quality l2d right so this is twinkle star and we have the nutcracker which is a one star character uh so far this is what i've obtained air on the g string is my latest character i think that i obtained recently and last but not least this is going to be palm and circumstance so it's a little bit uh the frame drop Hop happens occasionally when I'm showcasing the L2D characters, but uh, that's not how it is on the first day as well. So I think they might have changed certain things. So let's jump into combat. So combat is going to be a make or break it in terms of what the game has to offer. So I'm just going to show you guys. I think this game has a lot to offer in terms of the story and definitely a lot of the uh, quality of the voice acting, the L2D is definitely something that you can see present in the game. Alright, so let me show you guys the combat. So basically you engage the combat as follows, they engage the enemy. Okay, so a team of four characters as you guys can see. Uh, this is how the combat is like. You get to set up your characters and then you can swap accordingly. So depending on who you want, uh, all these selection screen are right here. And once you have finally confirmed your character, you can just press opening act. So. My characters are all on the right and then the enemies are on the left. So it's turn based as you guys can see right here. Uh, the enemy movement in terms of the turn order is going to be as follows. So one thing that you notice is right here at the top left there's a times one times two speed. That's the only thing and then there's auto and manual. But I'm going to show you guys on manual first because uh, I want to explain a little bit about the combat system. So uh, one thing to note is it's turn based like I mentioned and every character has two skills that you can set accordingly and these two skills will have various uh, range that you want to pay attention to. For example, this is the character that is moving right now. So if I choose this skill, this damage skill, notice this is the uh, skill position and this is the character, right? So notice I can only hit these three characters at the back, right? Uh, but I cannot hit this character in front. If I want to hit this character in front, I have to use my normal attack and that will target the character in front as follows. So yeah, uh, something that you have to keep in mind every single skill will have its range. So this skill will only allow me to hit these two characters, uh, the one with the red line across. So I'm going to go with that. But yeah, uh, all of them seem to have their role. The game seems really similar in terms of... Uh, it has a system I think that's quite similar to Blue Archive where it has a shot system that every character that's one star can eventually get to two stars and three stars and I think can fill up to six stars based on my observation so far that seems to be the case so let me just go with normal attack for this one okay so turn two I am going to go and attack the lamppost looking enemy in the middle uh oh what is that skill okay that uh that is a lot of damage uh, shield. I should probably be doing that. So this girl has an ability that randomly gives one ally a shield. Okay. So the first character got it. So this is going to be an AOE skill. Uh, yep, Carmen right here is 
one of my favorite one star character. Let's go with a heal since this girl is dying so hopefully we'll be able to give her a little bit of that particular skill. And I think we are good. Enemy has won. Oof. Alright, that sucks. But I think I should be able to get rid of this this last guy. So yeah, hopefully uh in terms of combat, I was able to show you guys based on this battle alone, uh, you guys can gauge. Uh, stern base, definitely. Nothing extraordinary. Nothing insanely unique. I'm pretty sure this is something that is present in a lot of gacha games. I don't see anything revolutionary right here in terms of the, the turn base combat. Wow! No, this one is like standard banner. So basically this is like a rate up in a way. This is like a standard. This is like a weapon artifact banner. Or whatever you call this. It says SSR memory. So let me see. Okay, obtain a 2 star every 10 pulls. And if a 3 star is not obtained after 60 consecutive draws, each draw from the draw 61 and below uh, and beyond will increase the chance by 0.1% up to 5%. If a 3 star is not obtained after 119 consecutive draws, the next draw will definitely be a 3 star. So by default, the base chance is 1% for 3 star, 8% for 2 star, 91% for 1 star. Fantai C Impromptu. Ooh, it's red color. Does that mean something? Red color means 2 star, I assume. Cannon! Twinkle, twinkle, little star! Wow, she's back. Okay. Carmen. Duke. The Nutcracker! <laughs> Wait, is that a Disney reference or something? I don't know. Okay, I keep getting the 1 star. She's new. Pom and Circumstance. So this is my 2 star. Okay, so we got one 2 star in that one. Okay, I got Daphnis and Chloe. So that's my 2 star. Okay. Alright, so let's talk about what's my experience so far after playing the game for about 2 to 3 days. What's good about the game? What's bad about the game? So first things first, I think the GB is uh, pretty interesting. Alright, it has high quality uh, art, L to D. Music is very, very good. Good VAs, good voice acting for sure. Now the cons. Now the game has a big issue where you really need to move your character around to be able to do stuffs. Let me give you guys an example. For example, I want to farm my dailies. Alright, so if I want to do my commission battle, which is basically a stage for you to farm like uh, EXP materials, I have to come to talk to this specific NPC speak to him uh, this one and then click on the commission battle before I was able like why not just bring me to this menu straight up right it happens with a lot of things in the game that I've noticed for example if I want to claim my dailies which is missions I have to click on the missions uh, it's gonna be it's gonna teleport me to this place right here my character is gonna walk slowly move right here and then we need to talk to this particular marina right here missions and there I need to come here before I can claim my dailies. And I can imagine this being kind of tedious. And if I want to do my gacha pulls, I have to click. I think the score room, this is going to teleport me right here all the way. And this is where we do the gacha. Alright, I'm not sure uh, if I like that per se. Why do I need to move the character around? to be able to access these things? Why not just immediately move me to this interface? Uh, it felt a bit counterintuitive but that's just what I feel overall maybe some players might like the the character chibi is moving around and it's going to make it as though you are in this particular area or room so more immersion but yeah that's one downside that I can think of uh, hopefully there will be some sort of quality of life when the game officially comes out and yeah 1% rates can be detrimental to some players as well something to consider hopefully that will be improved so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, give this video a like, and let me know what you guys think overall of Tucked OP CBT. What do you guys think so far? As always, have a nice day. Goodbye.